lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new welcome my name is pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what i do for those of you guys that are returning welcome back my loves i want to apologize i know we are a little bit behind on the monthly readings as you guys know if you guys do follow me on my social medias if you don't you can look at the description box you'll be able to find all my information on there uh we recently were was dealing or have been dealing with a you know, a loss in the family. So thank you guys so much for the love and thank you guys so much for reaching out and all your love and support. I genuinely, authentically thank you and I'm very blessed to have you guys in my life. Do not think that you guys go unnoticed because I appreciate every single one of you guys. So I felt so much love and I am back full force um, as the true Capricorn <laughs> stellium I am. We're coming back uh, being reborn. So Anyways, we have a lot going on right now. If you guys are interested in any personal readings, any of the services that we provide, any spell work, um, or like I said, you want to follow me on social medias, you can find all of that on the description box below. You can also find our books, our manifestation book, our journals, all of that on there. Okay. One of the massive changes that are happening right now, besides the eclipse, right? The eclipse season that everyone's been touched by it in different aspects of our lives um we have pluto going retrograde and actually goes retrograde today in the sign of aquarius now it's been doing this dance with aquarius and capricorn right it had been sitting in capricorn for the past 20 years and it went into aquarius finally now it's going retrograde and in the month of september it's going to dip back into capricorn to finally go back to aquarius and station there so what does this mean? We're ending cycles. We're closing chapters in our life. The thing about Pluto is that because it is a generational planet, what happens is that it will completely touch that house, right? That placement where we have your Capricorn placement. That's where it was at for the past 20 years. Wherever it is in your chart, that's what it transformed, right? That house represents the theme. So that's what transform. Think of this aspect as, you know, it going retrograde in Aquarius to then move in September to Capricorn for one last dip before it goes back to Aquarius, finally to station there. It's been having this dance, right? And because it's going back into Capricorn, what's going to happen, it's, it's bringing the power back to you wherever it affected you wherever you felt as disempowered because there is a death. There is a death of the soul. There is a death. It could be physical death or it could be an ending of an era, right? An ending of a cycle, uh, depending on that theme. So what it does is when it circles back or when it goes back to the sign that it was stationed at for many years, um, in the last degrees of Capricorn, what's going to happen is that it's going to bring back your power because, you know, the planet of Pluto is death and transformation, but also rebirth. So once you do that, once it, the chaos happens, right, once it transformed, when it burnt to ashes, whatever that house was in, it's going to come back to then rise like the phoenix. So in that metaphor, it's bringing your power back. It's like I said, wherever area you felt disempowered or you felt like it was just chaos or complete transformation, um, it's bringing your power back. It's giving you the power. It's giving you the power tenfold. So you're going to be empowered in this retrograde in Aquarius. Um, the thing about Pluto, when it goes retrograde, like I said, whatever power took back or it took from you, or you felt like it took from you because of that death of the soul, it's going to, when it retrogrades, it's going to bring you that power back 10 times stronger. So again, a lot of you guys are closing chapters, you're closing cycles. There is a lot that's going on that has been going on astrologically, you know, with Chiron and Aries, the solar eclipse, all of that is just, it's a mess. <laughs> but the beauty in it is that it does bring transformation to us for our higher purpose and our higher um, soul development. So Again, uh, this Pluto retrograde is definitely going to empower you wherever area it was touching in your birth chart, wherever you felt, like I said, disempowered or like there was, you know, transformation that happened. It's bringing that power back to you. It's reminding you that you were born, that you came here on Earth to continue expanding, to continue growing. And in that process, in order to get you to your highest level, 
there has to be the death of that old self so that you can step into the higher version of yourself. So a lot of empowerment, a lot of power. And of course, Pluto always brings wealth, right? <laughs> It'll bless you with wealth, with power. Um, so a lot of that. We also have Jupiter that's going, that is recently in Taurus, that is going to bring a lot of abundance, a lot of opportunity, but also it will be going into Gemini as we continue throughout the year. And a lot of massive changes are happening, you guys. So, and you guys can already see this in the media. You guys can see what's happening around the world. Like, you know, people, when it was in Capricorn, Pluto, people that abuse power, it's like they're being revealed, they're being dragged left and right. And that's going to continue happening, you know, um, because it's retrograde in Aquarius, we're already seeing like what's happening with colleges and stuff like that, of people protesting, all of that. That's Aquarian energy. So again, this is what we're being prepared. Um, we're starting off a bit rough, but as we continue, the ultimate goal here is for the highest good for everyone as a collective. So enough of that. I apologize for the long intro. I just felt that these astrological events are very important for you guys to know. Let's get into your reading, Cancer. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, my ascendant master, spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow me to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please give us the messages for Cancers for the month of May 2024. What can Cancer expect? What is unfolding before them, spirits? Here we go. By the way, if you guys have gotten personal readings from me, then you already know when we start talking really, really fast, it's because we are getting a lot of spiritual downloads and spirit is communicating through me. So I apologize if I am a little bit um, speaking a little bit faster than usual, but I've been doing the readings for all the signs and I decided to do them separately. So we are on a roll and we're not stopping. <laughs> we're coming back stronger, you guys, so you can expect more videos. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Here we go. Cancer. Look at that. Tower. Plutonian energy. Death card. <laughs> what I just said. All right, we have Scorpio energy here. Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Uh, sorry, the Ace of Wands. So off the chart, what's coming through for me is there was a massive transformation that you guys have been experiencing cancer. You guys have been going through this. Um, yeah, especially with the solar eclipse um, in Aries, right? Um, cardinals being affected. So with the tower and the death card, there is massive transformation. This Pluto retrograde is really bringing that power that I spoke about. I feel like I shouldn't even, I don't even need to do this reading. I felt like the long ass intro had everything to do with spirits download before I even look at the cards. So what they're telling me basically is in the past, there was a situation of you guys, you could be dealing with it right now where you feel like the rug was pulled from under you, like your life completely has done a 180. Um, it felt a bit scary for a lot of you guys. The changes, you know, the uncertainty is something that humans have a tendency of fearing. And it's because we are creatures of habit. However, what spirit is telling you is that through this and through the chaos that the dust is starting to settle, you're going to be able to have a more clear perspective. You're going to be able to see more clearly and have, it's almost like pay attention. What they're telling me is pay attention for the next coming days after you watch this video, because what they're telling me is that there's going, you're going to be experiencing synchronicities that are going to remind you of what you've overcame or what you've gone through lately, that it's making sense now. So for a lot of you guys, it's receiving blessings or things that are unfolding. And for some of you, it's going to be different. But what I'm getting is for some of you guys, if you went through some type of divorce, as an example, you were married for a very long time, you went through some type of divorce, you're going through it, and it almost feels like your life, like I said, a complete 180. Do not be surprised if the universe conspires to bring to you a new person, not to get you over that person from the past. I feel like you've already gone through that. It's just the process of like getting used to or accustomed to your new life or your new change. And what they're showing me is a new person being aligned in alignment with you or coming in right at the cusp of that rising of your Phoenix. So again, 
there is almost like if you recently lost a job and you weren't expecting that loss and you're in your head about it, do not be surprised if you trust the universe, take a step back, take a couple of deep breaths in and remind yourself whatever it is that I am not in control of, I surrender completely to the universe. I allow my angels to step in and create miracles in my love life, in my finances, in my career, with my family dynamic, whatever it is that you're going through and trust that process and you're going to start think like you're going to start to see things one after the other align to almost like bringing to whatever the universe or whatever you've gone through recently that there was a loss it's almost like you're feeling this massive expansion of blessings coming your way and that's the universe way of telling you cancer whatever it took from you it took from you because you either outgrew or it was it's time to go to, you know, um, go to the next level. And in this process, though it's traumatic and difficult and heartbreaking, it is also when in our lives we create monumental moments that change our life completely. So again, they're showing me back to back blessings for, for a lot of you guys. And what they're telling me is, Coming through some type of disappointment, through some type of major shakeup, there are blessings that are coming your way that are coming your way because you're deserving of it. This is your good karma. This is, you know, karma. When we say karma, a lot of people think it's negative. It doesn't have to be negative. We have polarity and everything negative and positive. This is good karma that you've gotten or that you've earned through sacrifice or through the difficulties that you've gone through. This is, could be people doing you wrong, people going behind your back, backstabbing you, anything like that. It's like the universe is bringing to you the blessings. It's showing you. It's like cancer. I'm showing up for you. Yes, I had to put you through these difficult circumstances and situations because you're worthy of so much more. And we had to shake your ground so that you can then get out of that comfort zone or get out of basically settling so that you can take it to the next level because you're worthy of that because you deserve that because you've earned that so i'm seeing a lot a lot of like massive change for you guys especially with the ace of wands here it's like again what i'm being shown it's almost like being you know at a loss or feeling like there was a loss or something that would that hit very close to home and in this um it's almost like the universe is reminding you, you didn't lose anything. It is just transforming. So it can transform. It can, you know, alchemize to bring to you blessings um, that you could have seen in the past as it was a disappointment. But now you're seeing it as like, that was the biggest blessing in my life because that's when my life changed. That's when those blessings came in. That's when my life uh, aligned to my highest purpose and I felt like it was literally my spirit guides guiding me through my, like holding my hands and literally walking me through that um, turmoil through that difficulty because only through spirit guides can we experience such loss and trauma um, finally coming out of it at the end of the tunnel being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel and not only the light, but actually receiving the blessings that are quickly coming in for you, Cancer. So again, beautiful, beautiful energy. Uh, if you guys have gone through a personal loss, uh, I send you all my love um, and spiritual fortitude to get you through this. I myself can definitely connect and you are the opposite of my sign. So for some of you guys, you know, we know, we know what we're going through. Um, but again, uh, no loss is really a loss. It is only alchemizing. It is only transforming. Um, and in this process, we must, you know, like I said, whenever we feel like we're not in control of our life or our destiny, we have to take a step back and remind ourselves to take a deep breath and to fully accept whatever is unfolding because it is always not to your detriment but to your benefit. All right, my lovelies, I want to wish you guys all the very best and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.